Hi guys, you're welcome back to Web Technologies. Let's figure out how to pass data to views in Laravel. Now we're going to navigate to the route. We still have the route we created earlier, which returns uh, the welcome page. If you have a data that you want to display, either coming from a database or you want to add code uh, a data string. So let's just see how to uh, achieve that. I'll be creating cars variable let's call it cars which is going to equals to an array let's pass in different car mercedes first one audi under that's okay so for you to display these right uh, in the welcome page you need to use a function called compact you can do it in different form but we're going to actually be using the compact form so you pass it right there compact Now you pass in the variable, which is cars. All right, this is actually going to display uh, the cars variable, which is an array of Mercedes, Audi, and Honda right inside the welcome page. So that's just what this is actually going to do. Now we're going to move to the view where we get that right in the resources. The welcome page, that's the welcome.blade.php. Uh, we're going to actually display the data inside uh, this page. I'll be using the PHP, uh, but in subsequent sessions, we'll be dedicating more on the Laravel templating engine called Blade. If you're familiar with the WordPress structure of uh, coding up HTML, PHP, you should actually understand this. So I'll actually be using the first method, which is the basic PHP. But I will get to now. I really want to display the data somewhere here. So we're going to use a for each loop. For each loop. Cars as motto. That's okay. Um, going to close up. This. Now we're going to end the for each and for each. That's fine. We end it right there. Give Rend it like this. Now we need to pass in the data. Let's do it with a list. The list tag. Now we still need to pass in. So we're going to pass the list item this way. Tag. Give it a sign to the variable um, motto. Semicolon, close it up this way, pass it in, save it up, 
after doing this um, saved so we have to issue out a PHP artisan serve but we're gonna get that from the terminal go to the terminal come over here we're gonna change directory to the new project sorry should be new project not me new project um afterwards we say php artisan serve now we need to open this with our browser which is going to be mozilla can you notice the list mercedes audi and honda well, it's actually populated that from where from the array which is resting in the route so we we'll go back to bracket what we have so let's go back to our route which is actually over here easily so we still have the cars which is the mercedes audi and under now let us change the php tags to simple um and bring this upwards on the structure the sit upwards let's change the php tag to simple blade approach no we're going to blade is a very simple to use uh templating engine for laravel it brings you back to something you already know so now we're going to actually replace some of the php syntax here to blade now for this to work just use the at sign and uh take away this also here need the at sign take away this so for you to display the list item uh, you just take away this tag you use the double called braces space same thing goes in here you use braces that's cool that's the simple approach to using blade now we get to actually bring it closer let's bring it closer and um, save it up a refresh can you notice it's still maintain the same items the mercedes audi and honda no changes you know so that's just a simple approach to blade let's go back to our editor and uh, you have it right there in text so let's do some other uh funky syntax on blade for paraventure you want to add uh, a sort of if statement let me bring this down let's let's get to do some other things with blade if If the people if the array is empty as the as the cars array if it's empty so I'm gonna this is the cars you don't need this you don't need all this just go don't don't need it when you use blade so you just Come over here to declare the statement you want there. Let's say there are no cars item. Cars in here. That what you hand the if and if just like this. You save out there. Come back to your browser. You refresh still it maintains what it has but for us to make this uh, work let's go to the route and make the list empty 
take out this, save it out, go back to Mozilla and refresh. Can you see? They are cards. There are no cards right here. That's what should have been passed in. There are no cards right here. Let's go back to the blade. There are no cards right there. There are no cards in here. So you save it out, you go back, you refresh, there are no cars in here. So now let us use our air statement to actually trigger something um, more. Now the if, here yeah, will be the else statement which is going to actually be else. What are you going to do? some space the cars right in here that's fine save this out go back to our route we'll bring back our values save that Move back to the browser, refresh. There are cars right in here, which are what? Mercedes, Audi, and Honda. That's straightforward, very, very explicit and uh, straight to the point. Now let's do a recap. Actually, if you need to populate a view, you return the view with the name of the page, welcome, without the blade.php and if you need to pass an array a data array into a view use the compact with the name of the variable that holds on to the array it can be from the db or something we get to talk about those uh the db and uh, authentication in the later tutorial so you pass in the compact with the name of the variable so that's actually going to populate the view of the data and we talked about the blade syntax the if the else you don't actually need curly braces you don't need uh, to open a tag with uh, the PHP opening tag and the closing tag just use your at sign with the keyword and you're good you're good to go with Laravel you know we we'll get to talk more about more functionalities uh, when it comes to using uh, blade syntax so catch me up in my next tutorial, don't go anywhere, stay tuned to Web Technologies and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time, bye bye.